A while back, I made a video called I'm the opposite of creative. In that video, I say my big five personality test revealed that I was super low openness to experience, which meant that I did not seek out new experiences that much. And when I dug into it, I found that high openness to experience is associated with very creative people. So since I'm super low openness to experience, that means that I'm just not a creative person. So I had that belief, oh, I'm not a creative person. But then I was reading the practice by Seth Godin today, and he said, we don't ship the work because we're creative. We're creative because we ship the work. And I've been making videos every day for almost 100 days now. So I've been shipping the work. So by definition, according to Seth Godin at least, I am creative. So that limiting belief that I had of I'm not a creative person, that doesn't matter. What matters is the action. Are you shipping creative work? Create something consistently and you are creative, you are a creator. So if you have this limiting belief like I did that, oh, I'm not a creative person, fuck that belief. Whatever it is that you want to create or aspire to creating, just create it no matter how shitty it is and keep creating on a consistent basis. And before you know it, like me, you'll have a body of work where you can say, hey, I actually put stuff out into the world and I guess that means I'm a creative person. So thank you for that, Seth Godin. By the way, this guy, he practices what he preaches. This guy blogs every single day on Seth's blog. You can Google it, Seth Godin, and you'll find his blog where he has been doing it for years. I'll see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. Good morning, Mochi. Good morning, Tigger. Good morning, cuties. Oh, you want breakfast, Mochi? Okay. Oh, cuties. Oh. Oh, so cute.